Hi, welcome to the Zoos family channel. In this video, I'll show you how to install and run Cisco Modeling Labs CML, on a Windows 11 computer using VMware Workstation Player, which is a free software from VMware. First, you need to download two things, the CML software and the Cisco iOS images. You can get them from Cisco's website by logging in with your account. The ISO file is about 8GB, so it may take a while to download. Once you have them, you need to install VMware Workstation Player. It's a simple installation, and I'll put a link in the description for you to download it. Note that it will create additional adapters on your computer, which is normal. Before we proceed, it's essential to make sure that your computer's BIOS has VTX or AMD V enabled. If you're not sure how to do that, I'll show you an example using an Intel computer. If you already have it enabled, you can skip ahead in the video. Now that you have everything set up, you can run CML on VMware Workstation Player and create complex topologies using Cisco IOS images. The Personal Edition allows for 20 concurrent simulated nodes, while the Personal Plus Edition allows for 40 nodes. The cost is $199 and $349, respectively, for a year. In summary, follow these steps. 1. Download the CML software and the Cisco iOS images from Cisco's website. To download Cisco Modeling Labs, CML, software and Cisco iOS images from Cisco's website, you can follow these steps. 1. Go to the official Cisco website at https colon slash slash www.cisco.com slash. 2. Click on sign in at the top right corner of the page and enter your login credentials. 2. If you don't have an account, you can create one for free. 3. Once you're signed in, navigate to the CML product page at https colon slash slash www.cisco.com slash slash n slash us slash product slash cloud systems management slash modeling labs slash index.html. 4. Click on Get Started to begin the download process. 5. Select the version of CML that you want to download and click on Download. 6. Accept the End User License Agreement EULA, to start the download process. To download the Cisco iOS images, follow these steps. 1. Go to the Cisco iOS software download page at https colon slash slash software.cisco.com slash download slash home. 2. Select products greater than routers greater than branch routers greater than ISR 4000 series greater than Cisco iOS Z software from the drop-down menus. 3. Select the version of iOS that you want to download. 4. Click on download. 5. Accept the EULA to start the download process. It's important to note that downloading and using Cisco iOS images requires a valid license from Cisco, and it is your responsibility to ensure that you are using the images in compliance with Cisco's terms and conditions. 2. Install VMware Workstation Player, link in the description. VMware Workstation Player is a desktop virtualization software that allows users to run multiple operating systems on a single physical machine. To install VMware Workstation Player on a Windows computer, you can follow these steps. Download the VMware Workstation Player software from the official website. Double-click the downloaded file to start the installation process. Follow the prompts to complete the installation. Optional, to activate Workstation Player features, start Workstation Player and enter your license key. You can double-click the Workstation Player icon, or select Start Greater Than All Programs Greater Than VMware Player to start Workstation Player. Then, select Enter a license key to allow commercial use. After following these steps, 
you should have successfully installed and activated VMware Workstation Player on your Windows computer. For more detailed instructions, you can refer to the official VMware Workstation Player documentation. 3. Enable VTX or AMD V in your computer's BIOS. Based on the web search result, to enable VTX or AMD V in your computer's BIOS, you will need to access your computer's BIOS settings and enable virtualization from there. The exact steps to do this may vary depending on the manufacturer of your computer or the UEFI or BIOS version that you have. If your PC manufacturer is listed in the article, you can find specific instructions for enabling virtualization for that manufacturer. If not, you may be able to find instructions for your UEFI or BIOS firmware developer. It's important to note that enabling virtualization may require advanced technical knowledge and caution should be taken while making changes in BIOS. 4. Run CML on VMware Workstation Player and start building your topologies. To run CML on VMware Workstation Player and start building your topologies, follow these steps. 1. Download the CML over file from the Cisco website. 2. Open VMware Workstation Player on your computer. 3. In the Workstation Player window, Click on File and select Open to Browse for the CML over file you downloaded. 4. Right-click on the CML over file and select Open with Greater than VMware Workstation, Windows, or Open with Greater than VMware Fusion, Mac, to launch the Import Wizard, 1. 5. Follow the prompts in the Import Wizard to complete the installation of CML. 6. Once CML is installed, you can launch it from VMware Workstation Player by selecting the Virtual Machine and clicking Play Virtual Machine to start building your topologies. With these steps, you should be able to successfully run CML on VMware Workstation Player and start building your topologies. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tech tutorials. 1.